trip. Ooh. Study the table. So me, Kat and Amelia have come on a trip to New Orleans for a few days. We're currently sitting outside of Lafayette's Blacksmith Shop, which apparently is the oldest pub in the USA. So that happened. <laughs> Kat just sneezed. There we go. <laughs> So we're currently sitting outside, I'm drinking a voodoo daiquiri, apparently. Which apparently is a bit of bourbon and some sort of slush situation. And Kat's drinking an angry orchid. And Amelia's not drinking anything. She's she's just not, she's letting the side down. She's she's letting the side down, I mean, it's not even 12 o'clock yet, me and Kat are already drinking. And I'm drinking. And Kat's drinking, I mean. You met me, What's going on? I'm oh. prune juice. <laughs> Tastes like fruity <really> stuff. <laughs> it looks like prune juice. It looks like a grape slushy. Yeah, it does. Oh, I mean, it just tastes like a daiquiri situation. Oh, it's all right. But well, New Orleans is so pretty. It reminds me of Paris. Well, obviously because it's French, but it kind of reminds me of Paris. Like all the little side streets and stuff in the French Quarter. So we're just going to go explore a few bits around there. Oh, let me see the street we're on. This is the street we're on so far. Cute little balconies, some houses, bit of beads everywhere. Some houses. Bloke lives there. All sorted. Yeah. Amelia's actually made a decision on a drink. It's called the Spy. The Spy. Oh. Margarita with extra tequila, more rum, and then Red Bull. So. All the spirit. <laughs> All right, she was definitely like, please film this again so I don't look like a douchebag. <laughs> Pizza. Can't bought a pizza, and it's buy one get one free. Woohoo! Free pizza. So we're at this um, musical legends park now. I saw this in a vlog actually. Apparently it's pretty cool. So cat tries beignets. Round two. We've got to see how these compare to Cafe Du Monde. The pressure is on. The pressure is on. Will they live up to Cafe Du Monde? <laughs> They're really hot actually. <laughs> To let him cool down a little bit. <laughs> Still working on this grenade. It's been a while. It's nearly at its end. It's been three hours. It's, been <laughs> <laughs> it's really strong. It's really strong. <laughs> Waiting in anticipation it's for the results. So far. Is it still too hot to taste? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait till it cools down. We'll wait till it cools Actually, down for the verdict. That should be nice. It's on par. It's a competition. Giving it a decent competition. And this is, to be honest, a much nicer setting. So let's just appreciate appreciate the much nicer setting. We've got a jazz glam playing down there. We've got the sun out. We're on Bourbon Street. This is the life. now we... <laughs> anyway we're back at the hotel now we went to the carousel bar after our nap we literally at like four o'clock we came back for a nap because we were just starting to crash we've been up since like 
three. Well, I didn't sleep at all yesterday, so that was a bit awkward. So we came back for a nap, and now we're just in the hotel room and waiting for pizza because I ordered pizza because there's like some sort of vegan pizza place that delivers. It's so expensive, but vegan pizza. So what can you do? Them two are eating all the. They're eating their willies. Got a bit of willies over there. Willie's fried chicken and jambalaya. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> this is our hotel. So we're staying at a Marriott. I don't think I've ever stayed at a Marriott before. It's very nice. I'm just sitting on my bed waiting for my pizza delivery. It's the dream. So after we had our nap, we literally napped for like three hours, I think. We went to the carousel bar, but we were just so tired. We were like, you know what? Let's just get food, go back. Just get up bright and early tomorrow morning because we've got some walking tours. We've got tours of the French Quarter, some culinary tours, and all of that good stuff. So, bye vlog. I don't really enjoy as much anymore, but good night. I'm going to bed after I've eaten pizza. Can we just appreciate the size of this pizza? Like, this is me, and the pizza's like nearly bigger than me. Now I know why the pizza was $30. I ain't all eating this in one sitting. And it's got vegan cheese in it. The dream! Oh my god, the slices are huge. One slice is as big as my head. <laughs> Dream. Oh. Mm. Is it good? It's good. Worth it? Oh yeah. Oh, Worth yeah. $30. This will last me three days. Yay! The dream. <laughs> <laughs> It's day two in New Orleans and we've pretty much been doing tours most of the day. This morning we did a culinary tour where we like learned about all the different local food and everything. They looked at some of the restaurants and all that and this evening we did a French Quarter tour. So we've just finished that up now and actually behind me is like the oldest building here in New Orleans. It was a convent or something like where nuns lived and it's pretty interesting history just walking down this little street now, I can't remember what it's called. Well, I think we're gonna go look in a few shops, have a little wander around still, go see the Mississippi, the Mississippi River, because we've not actually seen the river yet, even though we're right on it. I just love all the architecture here, it's so beautiful.
So Kat's got some uh, chicken gumbo and some alligator sausage. I mean, this is like actual alligator. How how is your gator sausage? You're not eating it. Take a take a bite. Take a bite. Gumbo's good though. That's good. Mississippi over there. I'm just picking up my drink. Got a cheeky. Um, I am. She's enjoying life. Got a cheeky Fat Tuesdays in New Orleans because you know, <laughs> if you didn't know, Fat Tuesdays means Mardi Gras. So Woo! that's a thing. So Universal, eat your heart out. We've got Fat Tuesdays in actual New Orleans. Did you say that's not correct? Mardi Gras French for Fat Tuesday. Oh. Yeah, Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday. Because Amelia speaks French. Speak some French, Amelia. Bonjour. Mardi Gras. Ça va? Ça va, ça va bien. Merci. À toi. Un, deux, un, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, six, sept. Mind the glass, swear to God you break it. I best not break this glass. Amelia's already smashed one. I recovered. She recovered it. She was like, oh. Hold on, let me flip this camera around. So let's have story time. Story time! Uh, um, so we went to a gumbo shop and Amelia decided, I know, let's smash a glass. So Olé. she Olé. dropped the glass on the floor, but then we went back to Pat O'Brien's and she was like, oh, the doorman smashed my glass. She told me Can to I get another one? He said so. He did say so. What was his at name? Walt Disney World um, today. Remy. Remy, at Remy, Pat Remy said so. So Remy at Pat O'Brien's, she got us a glass <laughs> that Amelia dropped. So there we go. <laughs> got hair in my mouth. She's still hungry apparently. After Who's eating hungry? her vegan gumbo. Yeah, I'm gonna have pizza when I get back. The size of herself. The pizza that's the size of me. Okay, mm. bye. Bye. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on Jane's vlog. Thanks for joining us on today's adventures of Jane Does Disney, but I'm ah. not in Disney, so Jane Does New Orleans, because yeah. I'm not in Disney. Da, da, da. This is what we do. We travel the US on our CRP. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to insert this one footage because everyone who subscribes to my channel would probably be like, what am I subscribed to? What is this mess? Imagine, imagine, well, imagine the first video they see, they're like, oh, what am I watching? The first video, Hi. what am I watching? Well, you guys are watching Jane in New Orleans drinks too much alcohol. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, how do I press bye. the off button? I don't know how to press the off. There we go. Oh. No. Think by the way, like, like way back here. Deep fried tofu, the dream. This is the dream I'm so excited. <laughs> I can die happy. 
Is it good? I'm so happy. It's so good. The dream. When you find a vegan store, which has lots of vegan clothes, and I bought things. Happy vegan! Yay. And then your friends also buy stuff. What? <laughs> and then my friends, my non-vegan friends, buy vegan things. Oops, I'm a vegan now. Surprise! <laughs> and we've also just ate food, at this place, stuff. which is called Me Seed. So this vegan restaurant is right next door. <laughs> And yeah, they do vegan, it's all plant-based vegan food, so it is literally the dream. I'm so happy right now, it's like my vegan dreams have come true. This is so cool. It used to be owned by Anne Rice, who wrote Interview the Vampire, and then Nicolas Cage. Howard, her uh, mom's, her dad's first name, Alan, her mom's last name. Francis, she's a girl, and O'Brien's family last name. Holding her mom's hand the first day of school, the nun says to her, what's your name, little girl? And she says, hey. and she picked out her own. This is so cool. It's the house from American Horror Story, The Coven. I got a takeaway po' boy from Seed, the vegan place we went to this morning and oh my god, look at the amount of tofu, this is the dream. So we're just sitting in Jackson Square eating po' boys. There we go, cat's taking a big bite over there, enjoy! Living my best life. How's your first po' boy? Awesome! Yeah, recommend. Oh, the dream! Some shit's filming over there. Life is good. Jane. Meet Jane. In my natural habitat. By nature. Nature! Yeah. Nature. Not so nature. Nature. Not nature. And a phenomenon. My vegan bag. Yay! Vegan bag. With a vegan friend. Hi. With vegan stuff. This hour I have not been vegan, but the one o'clock hour of the day I had an omelette. So that counts. <laughs> She's going places. These two ladies and gentlemen. I'm committed to the cars, what can I say?